This is Neck is the Wolfman, released on January this year. This is Neck is figure based on the 1941 movie starring Lon Chanley Jr. So you can check out the Wolfman cover here, on the front of it says the Wolfman, it's got a list of the, the stars in the film from Ralph Bellamy, Patrick Knowles to Bela Lugosi, Claude Rains, uh, that's the front cover of it, I turn the box around, it says Universal Monsters, NECA, Real Toys, the Wolfman, and on the back of it, it's another, uh, some snaps of the Wolfman himself, yep, so we're going to get this one out and have a wee look and see what's inside. So we're taking a wee look inside the box, you have uh, the Wolfman figure, you have it's human head, you have another wolf head, you have a type of crossbow and various hands and behind the wolf man you can see a set of feet, there's also a, a staff with a wolf's head on it. I remember watching this film, uh, I think it's a silver staff way back many years ago, uh, I think there's also wolf spain in the film, it's a long time since I've seen it so I can't really comment too much on it, uh, but yep. Universal's the Wolfman, you can see him there in his poseable mode. So we're going to get the Wolfman out and have a look and see what he's like. So Lon Chanley's Wolfman is now at the box, I've now put him on the turntable here, as you can check him out and see him. Uh, one thing I did notice is his stance, he's very, he's very hard to stand up. Uh, so I've actually pegged one of his feet with the, the small stand that came with it, so uh, the peg holes in his foot, so I've got my attached to that. As you can see, it's a, yeah, it's a very standard NECA figure. Um, they've not overcomplicated things, uh, especially with the accessories here. You have uh, extra feet, as you can see there, is human feet. Hopefully, if I try and zoom in on that, uh, you get that in focus there. Hopefully that's in focus. So you've got these feet here. Uh, and that's the other foot, so you've got these feet. You have a spear, well, it's not a spear as such, you've got a, another, you've got a human head sculpt, which is based on Lon Chanley Jr. It's a very nice uh, head sculpt indeed. You can see that there. We have his other wolf head, where he is, uh, I'll get that in focus as well, where he is starting to get a miss or howl. Uh, you can see him there. Get in focus. Nice detail on that head as well. What I thought, I apologise. What I thought was a was a was a crossbow was in fact a, a type of mobile wolf trap or bear trap. You can see it there. You can see the teeth on it. So apologies in that kind of a assessment. It is not a crossbow. That's there. We have also walking stick with the wolf's head on it. I do remember this from, from the film, uh, film and also wolf's being, being mentioned in the film. It's a long time since I've seen it so as I said earlier I can't comment too much on that. Okay and unusually, unusually uh, when I did say there was three hands and I thought maybe four, we have three extra uh, hands here. A pair of hands and an extra one. Not sure why there's three. So that is the Wolfman's accessories, there's not a lot to, to him, so I'm just going to pop the camera on him here, I'll give a bit of more light, if you bear with me, so, more light on him now, so there's the Wolfman, uh, right okay, articulation on this fellow, so his head, obviously he feels like shut collars, obviously, uh, impeding the the movement he said so it's 360 it's on a ball so you uh, expect that it comes off as well arm articulation i would assume it's shoulder level which it is uh, elbow bend in the middle there uh, no rotation on the lower forearm again elbow bend in the right hand as well there's no rotation uh, hands do rotate 360 Yep, so you have waist rotation, you don't have any torso rotation. Yeah, the other figures had a, there was a joint in the middle there where the torso would rotate. Uh, leg movement, you've got 
bending backwards on his knee joints. Uh, no forwards bend, and yeah, yeah, he's he blow the knee. Uh, there's some rotation in his in his shins, and his feet rotate right round 360, and his his foot up and down. Uh, there's no toe movement at all. You get some of the figures. So as you can see, that is the Wolfman. As I said, it's a it's a standard uh, edition, I think, by by um, NECA. Not overly detailed, which you would expect for this, this type of um, figure. For what they're trying to uh, mould, so to speak. So what we're going to do next, we're going to try changing interchangeable heads and uh, see what it looks like with the human head and also the other werewolf head. So I'm just going to remove this head here and it comes off very easily. Uh, it's the first time I've had a head that comes off as easy as that. Uh, ball joints kind of, if you can see inside there, it's moved to the back. So we'll try and get the human head on. That one right. Right, okay. So his head's on now. That's him taking human shape, except his feet, except his feet and his uh, hands. So what we'll do is we'll change the hands over and his feet over to human form. So as you can see here, the the pegs are quite um, thick. The peg holes are quite wide for his feet and the hands as well. It's just pegs and the holes. And I must admit, this is one of the easiest um, removals of hands and feet. I've had in a Nika figure, so pretty easy to uh, assemble his uh, interchangeable parts. I just clips into place again. I'm looking at his feet. <laughs> I'm looking at his feet. You can see the wrong way round. I should cut this bit out, but I think I'll leave it in. So he's got uh, slight issues with his toes and feet there. So uh, that was a pro fault on my behalf. I'll rechange them. He wouldn't be getting very far if he was chasing you, chasing you with those type of those, uh, those feet. So, yep, yeah, that's more like it is now. And uh, and I'm looking at just now, and he stands a lot better with his human feet on. So there's Lon Chanley, the Wolfman, uh, and obviously he's this this uh, clenched fist will hold. I said a walking stick, but it's really a cane, isn't it? Uh, we'll try and slot that in there, if I can. Uh, and also, Eagle Eye viewers will also notice I had the wrong hand on his left hand, and his left attached to his right, so his right attached to his left. So, um, not going so well here, uh, but listen, makes it all fun, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, that's him there, the Wolfman, Lon Chanley Jr. Um, The Wolfman, and we're going to transform him back into his werewolf form with his new head. So we'll just uh, remove this interchangeable head off and replace the, with his new werewolf head, which is this one here. So he's got a bit of snarl going on there. You can see him, doesn't look too happy. He's going to bite you, I think. So we'll put this head on. We'll change his uh, hands over. So there he's here, he's now changing back into the werewolf. We'll change his uh, hands over. It's great Necka does this way, he can change the hands and feet, but um, sometimes uh, it's open to getting damaged or broken. But you need to be very careful. I've learned my lessons so far with several figures where uh, one of Michael Myers uh, tried to put the the weapon in the hand, uh, the hand actually broke. Uh, one of the reviews I've done with uh, Els Jason from uh, Friday the 13th Part 7, uh, The New Blood, the I took the head off and the chain flew off and landed in the ground and I lost it outside, so lesson be learned, be very careful and vigilant when you're removing uh, the parts to change them over, because strange things can happen. So I'm going to take the feet off and replace it with these hairy ones. I do like these feet, they're very easy to put on and off, I must admit. Makes our job a lot easier when you get these pieces uh, on and off so so you can see him there seven inches tall Necker's Wolfman from Universal's movie 
the Wolfman from 1941. So overall, uh, yeah, I do like this figure. As I said, it's uh, it's quite a modest um, uh, adaption of it. Not overly complicated. Uh, I'm just going to show you another figure, sorry, before I, I wrap up here. And that's another Wolfman with Bendy Figs. I have done another video on this one. So, Bendy Figs, the Wolfman, via Universal NECA Wolfman. You can see the two side by side. Completely different type of uh, models. So, obviously, NECA go for the realistic Wolfman and Bendy Figs, so it's a bit cartoonish Wolfman there. Sculpt. So that's the two of them. Overall, yeah, as I said, uh, very limited um, uh, or modest accessories with this one. Uh, it does what it says in the tin. Another good job by NECA, can't really fault it. So that is the Wolfman by NECA, released in January this year. Uh, again, thanks for watching the video. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and also consider giving the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you again in the next episode of Max Toys and Models. Thanks for watching.